Ladies and gentlemen, it is Dre. Welcome back to another Stretford Paddock video. Paddock today, huge game. I say it every week, but I mean it. Huge, 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 huge game facing Bollington Town today. Bollington sit third in the league. Paddock now with nine points behind them, two games in hand. If we beat them today, it means it's in our hands, right? I tell you what, though, Bollington are not going to be a pushover. No way. The third in the league, one of the better teams. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dave Pritt, the absolute legend. Right, Dave is a man you would have been seeing lurking around in the background at Paddock all the time, almost every video. He's the kit man. He's the club secretary. He runs the shop. i tell you what he is. He's a Paddock legend. This man does the absolute lot. You may also see Dave on the fan channel, Stretford Paddock, giving his expert opinions on all things Manchester United. But in particular, he knows his stuff about the youth setup. This guy knows his football. Dave is the man. He's been at Paddock since day one. And thank God we've got him as part of the team. Thank the Lord for Dave Pritt. I, uh, I'm club secretary. I started off as kit man, but now club secretary. And still help out with the kits. Basically, it's a lot of the admin behind the scenes kind of thing where... Um, like today, I've got a, we've got three games this weekend coming up where our first team are amateurs and our under-21s. So we've got to get them game sorted. So uh, for home games, I've got to contact the opposition, go to then, once I spoke to them, speak to the referee, then email, um, complete thing of what the day's going to be on that Saturday to everyone. Um, and then the same with the other teams, whereas if we're playing away, I've got to wait for the opposition to call, contact me and then and um, we, we go from there and then it's a lot of the, then the admin of filling in all the data from the games at the weekend where um basically you got to put all the stats in from each individual game substitutions goals and then um pay for any yellow cards or anything like that so that all gets done and then from there it's just basically making sure the games um all set up for saturday make sure everything's put in place it is essential and it's not just me, there's people or every club who've got to do that and then there's, there's other clubs, look, we're fortunate here where we've got like someone like Steam Manager and we've got coaches at each club and I can just get on with what I've got to do and um, and just help them make sure the games are in place whereas there's other clubs so where the, the the manager may be doing the same role as me so it's just, it's it's really like hands on constantly but yeah it's, it's, it's a tough job, Lancashire and Cheshire and the under 21 league We've got to have league meetings for each them. So um yeah, that should be that should be good. That's that's something coming up. Uh, last week we had Upton. It was a positive in the fact that we kept a clean sheet. Just a bit disappointing that we couldn't get the result over the line for the three points. So this weekend is now a massive game. We have to win if we want to get promoted. If we don't win, it's gonna be a monumental task. So we've got to be massively up for it, which going into it through training, I do feel like we are. It's just about turning up and getting the three points today. Who's uh, that? Who are Kai Ridge? Who's playing today? They're playing. Glenn <laughs> Saran. <laughs> <laughs> I found that out on the one football app. The best app. <laughs> the last couple of weeks have been a tough couple of weeks for Stretford Paddock. Only taking one point from their last two games, a loss against Haydock and a draw against Upton. Today we face Bollington, who take up third position, that final promotion spot, and we've beaten them before. A fantastic game last time we played them, 5-3, some amazing goals and a top, top performance. Paddock need to win today though. We're nine points off promotion, two games in hand on Bollington, so if we win today, it's very much in our hands, but we have to win. Paddock have been a bit all over the place result-wise recently. If we win today, promotion is very, very much on. Last couple of weeks we've had some excellent performances. In fact, the last month I would say the performances have been brilliant. The shape in possession has been good. The commitment in defence has been good. The communication is getting better. There's been some real quality to what we've been doing of late. But it's always levels and gears that we can go through. And I'm always going to keep emphasising the communication, especially off the ball. Those that are training the other night have shown a sequence that resulted in us having was it three sets of playing out of the pack. There was a few things that we could have done a lot better in there. Movement ahead of the ball when playing out was an absolutely massive one. Uh, and the communication with each other. And a word with Tommy about playing Noser in. Noser hasn't checked his shoulder. Noser's tried to send it. 
it's ended up with them getting a shot. Tommy can prevent that, Nosa can prevent that by making sure he's checking his shoulder. From there we've tried to play out again, we've gone long with it, the line's pushed up, the line's jogged up. If the line sprints up all the way up to the bottom of the centre circle, we catch everybody. I mean, we caught them all off anyway, but it really makes the job in the midfield easier. So let's make sure that we have a big fucking push from the back four at every single opportunity. Catch them offside and make them play in a nice enclosed space where we can smash them in the centre of the pitch. Okay? So, any questions? They play to the full backs, don't fucking let them. They play through the four, don't fucking let them. And they press out through the front. So expect it, make sure your shape's good. Pitch looks like it's about the same size as NBA. Good. So I expect us to fucking pop it around on there and show them how to play football. Outside of that, lads, this is all about the fucking energy, tempo and quality. Those are the things that you guys can control. Energy, tempo, quality. Communicate, make sure you're putting the balls into the right foot, make sure it's going half turns and fucking checking your shoulders and all the basic things. It starts with a big fucking energetic warm up. You can still get promoted. Three minutes! Three minutes, get your ass out! One more ass! Where's this fucking man? Last week the tempo is good, we started well. Ryan, let's check that start, shoulder, Ryan. Fundamentals. The key points about how we oh, back, communicated love it. the tempo that we should be setting, yeah, yeah, yeah. moving the ball quick. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about getting ourselves set and ready with a good tempo you start. Only you claim for it. Only you know so claim know for it. Steve keeps shouting at me. He's not shouting at me. I'm on the ball. Fuck off. Yeah, it is brilliant. David Pritt. David Pritt is a man that I love wholeheartedly. Literally. I'll, I'll tell you that. I love him whole, with my whole heart. Since the day I came. Finish your ass. He's been my best friend and the coach and stuff. Loved him. Uh, Dave seems to love a drink. I think he's feeling it right now. Dave. Dave, you're off. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> he was out last night when I saw him. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think, I don't think to be honest, the people don't know about him because he does so much behind the scenes, organising fixtures, not just for us, but obviously for all, every squad. Um, you see, obviously, he's a kit man. He's, we wouldn't be able to play without him because he brings everything, he remembers everything. Um, it's just. He is, he's sort of like the unsung hero of the, top, the, of the team and the club as a whole, I reckon. He genuinely is the glue that keeps the club together. He does so many jobs. It's a thankless task that he does. He can moan, but he does a lot. Um, without him, I don't think we would be where we are as a club. He's always good at taking the ball for a ball up as well. Like our David Powell scores. Do you know what it is, yeah? Is it in Dave in a one football lap, he absolutely loves it. Yeah, Sid Nightly. He absolutely loves the one football lap, do you know what I mean? <laughs> He gets, he gets the scores for us every year. Like, I have to ask Dave, obviously I'm, I'm a Liverpool fan. I have to have, ask Dave the scores That's right, time. finish! Not so much this season, but last season. So, looks like everyone's almost ready for the game. Let's go through the starting lineup today. The Paddock lineup. Here it is. So in goal, the new man. He's kept his space in goal. He's doing well. It's Flanagan. Then we've got a back four from right to left. We've got a J, Oatsy, McFarlane, and Sinclair. He's played all over the gaff. Back at left back. He's a good left back. We all know that. Midfield three. We've got Keo Dadawali, Zach Bell, Nosuri Yamu, and a forward three of Joe de Andrade. Now, Mikey Burke started on the wing. He's going to love that. And the big man Katumba up top. Paddock, more than capable of getting the points today, especially with a strong lineup like that. Let's get to the game. So it looks like Bollington going to kick us off today in their purpley kit. I'm guessing. Is that purple? Is that navy? Is it brown? It's definitely not brown. Definitely not brown. We'll go with purple. 
When you're ready, lads. And off we go. Bollington kicking from right to left. And kicking it out of play. Paddock throw in. So Omar just getting the ball down the line. Up in the air it goes. Bollington, the home side today. Paddock, you'll remember, took all three points from Bollington in a great win earlier this season. And number 17 has a shot here. Goodness me, rattling the crossbar. Given a bit of space on the edge of the box. I know it's early days, but Paddock just needs to be careful of that. What a strike that is, by the way. Flanagan beaten, but saved by the crossbar. Wake-up call for Paddock. Anyway, no sir. Over to McFarlane. Farlan with a piercing pass through the middle. And here's Joa. Oh, and that's got to be a free kick, referee. So Omar stepping over this one. Hits it with pace. Hits the wall. Bollington now have the ball. No, they don't. Mikey's got the ball. Zach Bell now whipping it in. Oates, he's free. Edge of the box. He had a header. I tell you what, he had time to bring that down. Yeah, Mikey, you got that. You got that. He was waiting to get fouled, that's right. KO there losing possession. Not enough for a foul, says the referee. Who's got the ball now? James O. Out to Ajay. Here's a Richie. Good turn from Richie. Back to his captain. He leaves it for Zach Bell. He gives it back to Flanagan. Paddock just having a bit of fun with the football. Easing themselves into the game. But they've messed up there. And here's a chance. Number eight here. Flanagan's down. The ball is in the back of the net. Now, God knows what's going to happen here. Has the ref stopped play? Or does that goal stand? I think it stands. Bollington, 1-0 up. Through circumstances you just don't like to see. Keeper's gone down injured. He's still down now. Free net for Bollington. They've got to put the ball in the back of the net. Steve's even having a look what's going on here. But I think the goal has to stand. I mean, let's have a little look now. So, Flanagan's got the ball here. Number seven's pressed him. Now, he's gone down as he's kicking the ball. Obviously, it wasn't the best pass in the world. Um, and number eight's got the ball here. Now, he stayed down. And like I said, number eight, he's got to put that in the back of the net. Now, let me know, guys. Should that goal stand? Let us know in the comments. Now, look. We've seen it with John O'Shea. We've seen it with Rio Ferdinand. James Oat is about to go in goal. Flanagan unable to continue. Um, let's see how Paddock's captain gets on in net. Um, let's see how Paddock's captain gets on in net. KO there didn't want to head it back to him. Heads it away. And Bollington have the ball on the edge of the box here. Again, it's a strike. Cart's exploded. I was going to get home. <laughs> because he's, he's, not, he's well. not been loading it up properly. In the he had a week off, he <coughs> said it felt tight. And as he's loaded the weight in it, he's. No, 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 no. Flanagan as well, sitting behind the goal. I'm sure passing some wisdom onto Paddock's captain, who now stands between the sticks. But here's Mikey Burke playing in an advanced position today. Beating number four beautifully. Forcing the foul on him. Nosa whips it in. Headed away by number eight for Bollington. But Mikey's got it again. He spreads it back out to Nosa. Nosa again whipping the ball in. Great cross. And Katumba does get something on it. But he can't keep his shot low. Ball was slightly no, behind actually, him. We're not playing too well. We're just getting... We got unsettled. Right? It's fucking just unsportsmanship. Fucking pathetic. Chance again for Paddock. Shot going goalwards. And again. Cam Waters there and Joa both trying to hit the back of the net. Neither could. But it's set piece day for Paddock today. Another one. Zach Bell lumps it in. Who can get there? McFarlane goes for it, but he can't make it. And that is the half time whistle, guys. Paddock 1 0 down to Bollington. Under strange circumstances. He's, he's off to get a new keeper kit. 
I want you, listen oh. to me, I want you to aggressively appeal everything until he gives it and then shut the fuck up and carry on because yeah. he's not once is he ever going to go actually lads you might be right and fucking change his mind i, I want you to go bananas it. until the point he gives a decision and then just chill and fucking get on with it yeah get on with it needs to be the fucking attitude right i want every single one of you to tell every other fucking one of you to fucking get on with it today that's what we need to do and i want listen i want the first fucking shot to be ours i want it to get into fucking mikey's feet i want him to hit it first time i want that fucker to burst the back of the net off right we score the next fucking goal set up get ready Yo, there's a fucking lamb. Fucking that aggressive. What the fuck? Oh, is, fuck that shit. Aggressive, yes. <laughs> aggressive. Lama, Lama, fucking let them know. Mm -hmm. Underway for a second half. Paddock 1 0 down. Work to do, for sure. Arguably shouldn't be 1 0 down. But a task that Paddock will be up for and definitely have the ability to sort out. We've done it before this season, coming back from behind. Let's see if we can do it today. Big, big second half for Paddock. Come on, ref! Fuck me, he's just checked Ryan off the ball as well. So, Paddock attacking now in the final third, in the corner. Here's Joa linking up nicely with Nosa. Still has the ball. Pressure on him, but can he get past his man? Good feet from him. And he does. He gets a great ball into the back post. No one can get on the end of it. But that was a bit of quality there from Joa. Cam Waters back on the pitch today. Nice to see him again. And he's right next to Mikey Burke. He gets taken down. Good position for a cross here. Nosa's going to whip it in. He does whip it in. Who's that? It just goes past everyone. And KO gets something on it. Goalwards. Not enough though. Flicked on by Waters. Should be getting it away. He's actually <laughs> held to go into the box. Thinks he was fouled. Watch that offside there, both of them! Get rid of the step, lads! All three, ref! Chance for Bonington now. They've got a chance on the edge of the box. Hit it, goalwards. James Oak there, saving it with his feet, as any outfield player would do. Come on, keep the lever! Get, your, get your fucking head on it in there! <coughs> Ball whipped in again by Nosa. Omar gets there, headed off the line, and then the keeper saves it. Two shots there, none with real power, to be honest. Easy for Bollington in the end. Keeper launches it forward. Ball up in the air. KO brings it down, though. Good strength from him, and Katumba helps him out. Great ball out wide. Here's Joa. Can he get a shot on? Joa cuts inside, hits it goalwards. Keeper's there, though. So still 1-0 to the home side. Big tackle there from KO. They're not happy on the bench. I don't know why. I think he won the ball, to be honest. Obviously telling that man where to go. Good ball in from Bonington Man. Helped goalwards. And that's a fantastic save from Oatsy. Has he played in goal before? Anyway, ball forward. Katumba chases onto it. Keeper gets rid of it, but it's not the best ball. Nosa has a chance here. Roulette loses it. Just needed to get his shot off earlier. But the ball's still alive. And uh, no, it's not. Bollington now. Man in the middle, bringing it forward. Good pass from him. And number seven now has a little bit of a chance to run at Omar. Omar keeps him at bay, though. What can he do here? Gets the ball into the box. Headed away from McFarlane. 13 on the edge. Has a chance to shoot here. Good defending from Aji. But then he does get his shot away just wide. Here's Omar. Just taking a second. And he lumps it forward. Katumba trying to get something on it. He doesn't, but he does put pressure on him. And Joa using his energy to win it back. And that has got to be a free kick on the edge of the box. Surely, ref. Has he given it? He must have done. He has. Sinclair hits it goalwards. Headed away by the wall. And Bollington, if win it back here, they might have a chance. They might have a chance to break, and they do. There's a chance here for number seven running down the wing. KO should keep this at bay, though. Nice little dummy there. 
So Bollington lumping the ball up in the air. I've never seen a ball go that high on a football pitch. It's like watching a rugby game or something. And there he goes again. Up in the air. Big header. Unopposed. But there's a chance for 17. He might be offside, but this man might not be. Number seven. And Omar Sinclair with a fantastic last ditch tackle. Let's go! What a fucking tackle. Descenders! Descenders! Fuck him! Play on! In the back rack! Watt has thrown it over Omar's head. And there's a lot of space here for the man in the middle for Bollington. Oh, he beats two men. He beats Aji and Bell. And he's got a chance to whip it in here. And that's a foul from Aji, I think. I think. So we're in the corner here, Bollington. Time wasting. You don't like to see it, but it's got to be done. It's part of the game. And that is the full-time whistle. Stretford Paddock losing 1-0 to Bollington Town. Fantastic game of football. Very unlucky goal to give away. But that is not what Paddock needed for their quest for promotion. That's all we got to fucking aim for. Every single time we pull on this shirt, yeah, it's just fucking three points is all we want. It's got to be hard work every week, so... Yeah. So what are your initial thoughts after the game? Uh, I think it's a frustrating one for everyone. Uh, there was a controversial decision in the first 20 minutes, I think, which maybe killed the game for us a little bit. Um, Martin went down injured. It's, they didn't put the ball out, they scored. Maybe that got in our heads a little bit, but we had 70 minutes to play, so... 70 minutes there to, to go and score two, three, four goals. And obviously I went in net. They didn't I don't think they had one chance. So I think it's frustration for everybody in the dressing room today. Yeah definitely not last week. Nil nil were top of the league. They beat us, I think it was four one at their ground. Obviously we beat them five it was five two at home but today I think we were the better team. It was a obviously that decision but it's just down to us to play football and maybe today we didn't play the best. Maybe in certain spells we did, but it is what it is, isn't it? It's a game of football. I think anything can happen, and I think just today it's a bit of a hard one to swallow. Yeah, we, you can't focus on the negatives in football because if you do, you, you just you don't progress at all. So I think the positives that we take from today, I think we moved the ball quite well in certain situations. Maybe, maybe we lacked um, chances, but we know that the past couple of weeks we've lacked chances. So I think we've just got to build and build and build each week. And then obviously the results will come. So, yeah. well, I don't mind going in there. Uh, if I've got to go in there, I've got to go in there. And today I did. And they didn't score, so I don't mind. It is what it is. So, boys and girls, really tough one for Paddock today. Walking away with no points. The manner in which we lost is frustrating. That goal, oh, should it have stood? Should it have not? Let us know in the comments below. But at the end of the day, we walk away with no points. But just as annoyingly, our keeper's injured. Flanagan has added some real stability to the side in recent weeks. And God knows how long he's going to be out for. It leaves things tough for Paddock. Like I said, that gap now becomes 12 points between Bollington and Paddock. But you've got to look forward. We've got to keep looking forward. We play Ashton Town Reserves next week. Bottom of the league. Paddock should win that game. But like Martin Tyler said on FIFA 12, if you do not buy a ticket... You do not win the raffle. Paddock need to keep buying tickets to keep themselves in any hunt for promotion. They've got to keep buying tickets. They've got to get some wins on the board. Team's gutted. But lads, who do you reckon man of the match was today? Let us know in the comments below. And we will see you soon for another Paddock Highlights Package. Real fan ownership, real fan input, real fan change, real fan power. 50 plus one, we can go better than that. 100 plus none. Download our app, view the free content, read about the club, that's fine. But if you want more, become a member. To vote, to go behind the scenes, to make an impact, interact with a global community around the world, influencing how we grow, where we play, club ethics and values. The more members we have, the faster we grow. Support the club, run the club, own the club. This is ours and no one will take it away. The future is in all our hands.